Hi, this is Chuck. Welcome to our video question of the week. This week's question comes from Jim in Ohio. Jim says, we are horrible at budgeting. Do you have any success formula to forecast an accurate revenue model? Well, Jim, that's uh, good timing um, for the question and why I've chosen it for this week is that people are starting to think about forecast and predicting revenue for next year. I always go back to three things. One is the backlog, of course. The second is the pipeline. The third is new opportunities. Add those together, that's what you base your, your predictions on. Um, backlog, of course, is the most predictable, but it has a shorter turnaround than it, than it used to. So it isn't as great of an indicator for next year as what it used to be in the past because of the short uh, cycles on projects now. Second thing is the pipeline, and basically that's what you have in your sales funnel that you think will will come to fruition. What uh, I recommend people do is to take the numbers that their salespeople tell them, cut it in half. And the reason I say cut it in half is that half of those projects aren't going to go anywhere. You won't lose them to a competitor, they just won't happen. So um, that's, a, that's a very conservative way to look at that, I guess. The third is your new opportunities, and that's really those things that will come up in 2012 that you truly don't know about yet. And that's the quick turnaround, maybe some of the smaller projects that that you have done. I look at historic numbers to try to get that included in there. Um, you know, keep in mind for your new opportunities, though, that we really don't see any um, any real bright spots in the um, marketing for next year in terms of the economic forecast or construction. There's no vertical markets that really stand out in a high growth section right now. So that's something that you have to you know temper this with as well. Another thing I recommend is uh, NSCA does a lot of work trying to uh, develop an economic forecast and a projection uh, for the following year. So we're working now on our 2012 outlook, and we're going to present that at the business conference in March. But what that does is it gives you a third party, gives you an outside look at what you should be doing so your salespeople and when they get their quotas for next year, they know that you've taken some data points outside your company and added those two there. So always... Um, the end of the day, always the past performance is the best indicator of future results. Um, but there is one other thing, a different way to look at that. If you have a really um, extreme confidence, let's say, in a new product line or a new territory, uh, office you've opened, is add that on top of all this. So make that kind of the fourth element. Create a separate number for that for next year. And I think that will help you add to the success of that. So good luck in your forecasting, and thanks for the great question.